At least three people dead, roughly seven others injured in St. Louis school shooting. This was published on October 4th, 2022, written by Alisa Nelson for MissouriNet.com. A gunman opened fire this morning at a St. Louis school, killing at least two people and injuring about seven others. Law enforcement quickly responded and killed the shooter. A woman and teenage girl have reportedly died in the shooting this morning at Central Visual and Performing Arts. St. Louis Police Commissioner Michael Sack said officers arrived on the scene within a couple of minutes of receiving a call for service. As kids were fleeing out of the building, they, officers, talked to some of the kids who told them that there was a shooter armed with a long gun. The officers began to clear the building looking for the shooter. Upon hearing gunfire, they ran to that gunfire, located the shooter, and engaged that shooter and in exchange of gunfire. The suspect was struck and transported from this location. That suspect has since been pronounced deceased. He said no officers were injured. The officers arrived quickly, made entry with no hesitation. They went directly to the sound of gunfire, which is the expectation not only the department, but the community as well, to protect our kids and our teachers in the schools that should be considered safe. This is a heartbreaking day for all of us. It's going to be tough, he said. While on paper, we might have nine victims, eight of eight of whom were transported and one remains. We have hundreds of others. Everyone who survived here is going to take on trauma. Even the officers who responded here and the firefighters and the paramedics who worked on people here are going to experience some degree of trauma. It's terrible to think about here is a safe place where kids go to learn, to grow, to develop, and something like this happens. It's just heartbreaking. St. Louis Mayor Tishara Jones reacted to the news. To be here for such a devastating and traumatic situation breaks my heart, especially as a mother. I'm heartbroken for these families who send their children to our schools, hoping that they will be safe, she said. Our children shouldn't have to experience this. They shouldn't have to go through active shooter drills in case something happened, and unfortunately that happened today. Everyone involved is going to have to deal with the trauma that will reverberate across our communities in the days and the months to come. This is just so unfair. It's so unfair. The mayor thanked first responders and school workers for running towards danger to save others. St. Louis Public School Superintendent Kelvin Adams said today is a tragedy. 700 students are impacted by what occurred here. He said the police department was on the spot, our security team as well, and we're working aggressively to try to find out what occurred and to make sure that this does not happen again. KMOX Radio in St. Louis reports police said the doors to the school were locked, but they did not clarify how the suspect entered the building. Check back for updates. This is the 658th mass shooting in the United States of America in 2022 alone. On my channel, I cover mass shootings because this is something that is preventable in the United States. We can stop mass shootings. We don't have to have our children go through active shooter drills and wear bulletproof backpacks just to go to education centers. How can we do this? By having actual, sensible gun reform gun control. But in the United States of America, where the gun is God and we worship it on a crucifix that we secretly want to fillet, this will never happen until we change our minds and change the culture. How come in Canada there are no mass shootings at schools at the frequency that it happens in the United States? How come in Germany there aren't people shot in supermarkets? How come in Spain there aren't people shot in churches? Or the countless other mass shootings that go unreported or underreported in the United States of America? How come these don't happen in other Western, European, developed nations? Why? Because they actually have gun control. Because they actually try to protect their citizens. I left America. I am filming this video in Mauritius, Africa. You don't have to worry about me, but I'll make this very clear. I will continue reporting on mass shootings. I do not do this for clout. I do not do this to earn money. My channel is not monetized and I will probably never get monetized on YouTube because of the content that I make. But I will point this out for anybody who's watching this, especially Americans, especially Americans. If you have children, look them in the eye. Look them in the eye and tell them the gun is worth you not being safe at school. Look your children in the eye and tell them the gun is worth you not being safe at church or in a supermarket or going to a party or going to a high school football game 
all of the places where mass shootings happen in this year, in 2022 alone, that I've covered on my channel are real events. Why does this have to be? Why does this have to be? The Second Amendment says that we should have a well-regulated militia. Why does this mean you deserve a nine millimeter or an AR-15? It does not make our country safer. It does not make our democracy safer. It does not make our children safer. This is an embarrassment, but this will happen again. So all I can say is, say la vie, because that's what most Americans will do. They'll just say, just another day. This will get headlines because this is so egregious and so heinous, this crime. Maybe the president will say something, but we know what will happen. The platitudes will come from the Democrats. The Republicans say, don't politicize this. And then the cycle continues. More and more guns are sold to legal gun owners, which then floods into the illegal market, which allows mass shootings to happen in rural places of America or in large urban centers from criminals who get the guns illegally. Meanwhile, people can also purchase guns legally to go do their school shootings and other things like that. This doesn't have to be this way. Look at any, any other country in the world and say, why does this have to be America? The richest, most powerful, greatest nation to ever exist. All lives matter. Abolish the Second Amendment. My name is Simon Hill. Peace.